Okay, it can be very difficult to install the Esri software onto your computer. So this um, video will walk you through the process of how to do so. Um, the first thing you should do is head over to Blackboard, to your course Blackboard shell. Um, and under the Start Here panel, regardless of whatever course you're in, um, you will have a Start Here section. And in this Getting Started section, you'll have a folder somewhere labeled Downloading and Installing ArcGIS for Software. Um, so you can click on that folder, and inside you'll see the software instructions, you'll see your student edition authorization codes, and you'll see the installation guide. There's also a great link here for installing um, the software that's a website that will walk you through the same process I'm doing right now. Um, included on the installation uh, Word document is a link to the Esri site where you go to start the authorization process. So what I recommend you do is start by clicking on the Word document so you can read through what the installation um, involves. Let that load. And there are a couple of things on the Word document. You should check your system requirements. Um, and then you have to go and authorize your authorization code or activate your authorization code. You will always find your authorization code on that Excel document on Blackboard but we can go ahead and click on the link to the Education Edition. You can also use the link on Blackboard to access the Education Edition website. So this, again, is another way to walk you through the installation process, so check your system requirements. Um, and... We will head back to that website where we can authorize our software. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, so we will go to the uh, website. Where is it? Esri.com forward slash education edition. And you will finally arrive at the ArcGIS for Desktop Student Trial. Um, this is where you will need to log into your Esri account. If you already have created an Esri account for one of the labs, the classes, or a previous class, you won't have to recreate one. So since I have one, I can go to have an Esri account. I will log in. Sign in. <clears throat> and it will take me right to the activation in the desktop uh, trial. Now, your activation code you'll find on the Excel sheet, so you can copy and paste that or type it in, whatever's easier for you. and click on the Activate ArcGIS button. When you get to this Select a Version um, page, you always want to pick the latest version of ArcGIS. So for this tutorial, I'm picking ArcGIS 10.5.1 with ArcGIS Pro 2.0. And these are the same installation instructions um, that you're seeing below that you saw on the other web page. There's some service packs that you may need to install. So I am going to pause the video and install those quickly. Now I am back. I attempted to download the um, service packs, uh, but if you'll notice, I've installed them in a previous edition. So I'm getting the message that I will not be installing these because um, the frame, this service pack has already been installed. So you may try to install it and you'll get this message. 
Um, but double check that you've installed these um, so you don't have any issues with uh, functionality and display of the GIS software. So we'll go back. One more. Um, so you have the service packs to install. Um, do, 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 do. Next up, you're seeing the summer for an install and authorize the ArcGIS for desktop. Now, this is a key um, thing to pay attention to. You're installing it and you're authorizing it. So it's a two-step process. Select a destination folder. Um, I suggest you just let it automatically choose. Um, and it's telling you to select the ArcGIS for desktop advanced single use. Um, I do not wish to authorize any extensions, and it's bringing back up my authorization number. So I want to download um, the a couple things. First, the the main thing I'm going to download right now is ArcGIS for desktop. If you're in 111, 112, 113, 114, you may think about installing the ArcGIS Pro as well. But right now we're just installing ArcGIS for desktop. So you can click on download. I've got my pop-up blocker on, so I want to fix that. I'm going to download. Let me click on, click to download your file now. And I am going to <coughs> Excuse me, pause the video while this downloads. Okay, we are back. This took me a couple minutes, so be prepared for the download to take a few minutes. If your internet connection is slow or if you just have other things to be doing. Um, anyway, the next window you'll see is ArcGIS Desktop. Select the destination folder. I suggest you leave it as the default um, on your home computer. And we're going to start unpacking files, and this can take a few minutes as well. So I'm going to once again pause the video. Okay, so now our window says installation files have completely have successfully extracted to your computer and launch the setup program. Make sure that is checked when you click on close. And the setup program should launch, and you'll click yes. If you're not seeing it on my computer, it's the do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? And I'm clicking yes. And our Windows installer is started. Um, and it's preparing the installer and it's computing space requirements. Um, I had a previous version of ArcGIS installed on my computer, so you may not see this screen. If you are just updating your installation, you will see this screen. So it's saying that ArcGIS 10.4.1 has been detected and will automatically be replaced by 10.5.1. Um, so that's great, and that's what I want to have happen. And I'll go ahead and click Next. I encourage you to read through the master agreement and see what you're being allowed to do and what it what everything you're agreeing to with the software um, and then accept it I suggest you just stick with the complete installation it will save you some time um, and then it's again selecting that program file I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the default click next um, click next on the Python destination folder and it says ready to install. Um, you can choose if you want to participate in the Ezra User Experience Improvement Program, um, and there's a link to it as well. Once you decide on that, you can click the install button, and it will go ahead and get started. And again, it may take several minutes, so I will pause the video. All right, we are back. That took a very long time to install, so don't be surprised if it takes um, several minutes, uh, many minutes. Um, it is a large file. So now we can see that ArcGIS Desktop 10.5.1 has been successfully installed. Click finish to click the finish button to exit this installation. Now here's the trick. You are not done installing the software. You still need to get to this step about uh, authorizing the software. <coughs> 
to do so, we are going to um, open up the ArcGIS administrator. So to do that, um, we'll click on the start button. You can click on search or just start typing. We're looking for ArcGIS administrator. It should be the first thing that pops up in your search, but go ahead and click on the ArcGIS administrator and it will bring up the, the panel that says user account control. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer and click yes. All right, so you should be seeing my ArcGIS administrator uh, window. We have to authorize our um, software. So install and authorize the desktop, the ArcGIS for desktop. Um, we head to our um, administrator window and we are going to click on, I think, data licenses. No, where are we clicking? Mm -hmm. Okay, click on the uh, folder for her desktop. Um, so it says, select the software product to be used, and then it has all these other things. So we are using, as it says in the window that we saw online, ArcGIS, ArcGIS for desktop advanced single use. Um, so we're clicking on the advanced ArcInfo single use, that's what we're looking for. And we are clicking on the authorize now button. So we're seeing here authorized and authorization options. Um, you must authorize software prior to use. So if you just did the installation and tried to open up ArcMap or some other uh, portion of the ArcGIS, ArcGIS platform, you probably noticed that it said your software isn't authorized. This is the step that most people miss. So you have to go to the administrator. It may pop up automatically. For me, it did not, so I'm going to the administrator and we're authorizing our software prior to use. So here we're checking, I've installed my software, I need to authorize it, and we're going to click on next. Oops, um, sorry, I missed this page. Um, authorization method, we're going to authorize Esri now using the internet. Uh, you will have to fill out all the authorization information. Mine is already in here from previous installations. You can adjust the authorization information as needed. And here we are again, software authorization number. Enter the authorization number for your software product. This is the same authorization number that was on the Excel file on Blackboard. You can also find it um, on that web page under um, when you uh, began this process on the Esri website. Your authorization number is here. So it's the same number. We'll just copy it again and we'll head over to our authorization window um, and I'm just pasting my authorization number into this window and clicking next. We're just gonna stick with I do not wanna authorize any extensions at this time, we can do that later. So we'll click on next. Um, just click on next again and it's going to connect to the Esri website or the Esri uh, server, and prepare the authorization, sending it over. I'm going to pause the video while this authorizes. And you can see now my authorization window says, authorizing software, congratulations, you have your software has been authorized and is now ready for use. And we can click on finish. If you do not get to this window, you have to, um, a couple things could have happened. Um, you may have tried to install the software before um, and incorrectly installed it and didn't authorize it and now your, uh, your student um, authorization code is used up. So you'll have to ask me for a, another single use code. Um, it's possible that you um, have a bad internet connection, so you may want to think about using one of the other authorization options, um, but keep trying. Um, and if you get to this point and it won't authorize, um, most likely it's because your authorization code has maxed out because um, you made a mistake somewhere to begin with in the beginning. Um, but keep trying or ask me or more 
uh, it might be a better option to talk to Esri. So we'll click on finish. We can see now that if we click on um, the ArcGIS for desktop, you can see all the authorization information there. Um, uh, we'll just leave it here. Um, so we'll click OK. And now if I want to open up ArcMap, I can search for ArcMap. And when I go to open it, it will take a minute, as always, to open. But pause again, maybe. Yeah, we'll pause. But when ArcMap does eventually open, um, I don't get any error messages that I didn't correctly install it. So just to be clear, if you did get a lot of error messages or it's saying it's not authorized or not installed correctly, um, the, you need to go back, figure out what step you didn't accomplish, and try again. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. I encourage you to uh, reach out to me or reach out to Esri if you're having issues with your software installation.